This video is provided courtesy of the Quorum Civic Association. What you are viewing are chairs set up behind Plaza 99 for the purpose of drug abuse and prostitution. This is an old photo taken by our Civic Association last year in February. We do not take pleasure in the creation of this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Here we have a male and a female who are abusing crack cocaine. As you can see, the puff of crack smoke, as disgusting as it may be, please remember that prostitution also happens here. This fence borders a residential neighborhood. Children play in the backyards of these residences, just feet away from these vagrants. A cell phone on his lap and a pocketbook on the chair in front of her. These people are not homeless. These people are not Quorum residents. So why do they come to Quorum? You can see the extended flame heating up the crack pipe. They know that if they come to Quorum, nobody will hold them accountable. As hard as it is to believe, we told everyone about these chairs and this activity 11 months ago, yet no action was taken. We make this video in an effort to raise community awareness and to promote conversation. We firmly believe nobody would tolerate this in their community, so why should Quorum? All levels of government are responsible for this, allowing the removal of Suffolk County Police Department from Quorum, placing a social services department in Quorum, and adopting an extremely lax attitude in regard to dealing with people who terrorize our community with crime. These people don't want help. In fact, social services is across the street. They can get help at any time, yet they refuse because they know that they can abuse drugs, prostitute, sell drugs, and steal in peace without repercussion in Quorum. I choose to live this way, yes. But this is what they want to do. They want to, you know what I mean, express itself out, staying outside and feeling free. A lot of times they don't want help from government. Um, they want to remain on their own. As the clips from 2017 show, these problems pre-existed the 2019 bail reform law. We are fully aware of the factors facing the government and the police, but the question remains, what realistically can be done and when will you do it? Because the 45,000 residents of Quorum pay taxes and it seems that we get an explanation instead of an action. When we say, hey, cars park on the side of Plaza 99 where prostitutes sit under the cover of darkness on a nightly basis, you know, we're not just saying that for no reason. Should prostitution, drug dealing, and drug abuse be allowed to happen walking distance from a residential area? You have to ask yourself, why do the same 15 to 20 people come back to this area? They don't live here. They don't accept services in the area. So why quorum? Is it because they know they can get away with it here? We should also be careful to label this a law enforcement issue. The Suffolk County Police, as seen in this clip, do respond, but they need support from local government to do their job more effectively. In closing, these issues do not require millions of dollars and a task force that meets on a monthly basis to fix. There are laws on the books, they just simply need to be enforced. We need our local government to prioritize enforcement of these laws to create a zero tolerance environment. While we recognize the renewed effort in our community by our local governments, we firmly believe that an acceptable timeline for action is not 11 months.